Okay, now that you all have eaten, have you enjoyed your food? Yeah. 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 So I want to thank our team, Divine Elegance, our event planning service. Because uh, oh. Sandra Griffin said, give my mother a standing ovation for the food.
Running Goose, Gossip, Rhyme Time, Tracy Brooks. Oh, good shit. 
one that lived in that shoe, that house shoe. Yeah. You know, she had this thing with Jacks. There was another Jack that she was trying to get with. You remember him, Jack Nimble? <laughs> yeah, Jack Wick. He kept jumping over that kind of stick. And then it burned down the house shoe. Shoe, house, house shoe. <laughs> she said I could not deal with that. And then, according to the gods of Gollum, she went to that other Jack. I grabbed a bucket and go, 
There you go. Big sock. She says, no, 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 no. What are you going to do about the pipe? Oh, that. And as I thought of another smart answer, she said, the worst thing that you can say to a dude yourself, let's call a plumber. <laughs> what? <laughs> plumber? That I got paid? Are you insane? Of course, I said this myself. Honey, honey, honey. I'm your man. I can fix this. I'm a man on a mission. You're, you're what? Never mind. Honey, I can fix this. Look at it. It's just pipes. Are you kidding me? No, no. I, I take these pipes off, I put the new pipes on, turn the water on, bada bing, bada boom, the leak spits. <laughs> Have you done this before? Not really. I've seen guys on YouTube do it. I'm sure. <laughs> I've got pipe wrenches. I know which handle to hold them. I don't know. You know, promise me this. You just won't flood the basement. Honey, I promise you. Maybe a small river, but not a flood. <laughs> you walked away. I knew I was on the clock at that point, so I went to the hardware store, bought all my parts. And that following morning, leaving the comfort of my kitchen table, and a nice warm cup of coffee, I grabbed my equipment bag, and down the stairs I went into the basement. <laughs> when I got down there, the silence in the basement was broken by the sound of the beast calling out to me. Drip, drip, drip. So I walked over to the utility room, and there the beast was, staring me down. It was game time. It was man versus pipe. I put down my equipment bag and reached in for my pipe bag. An old friend of mine I used on many jobs, but not today. I needed something stronger. I reached in for one more time. Another pipe wrench, but I still needed something. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for a job like this, I needed the Terminator of pipe wrench. I grabbed my pipe wrench, and I set it down on the pipe, and I went, eep, eep, eep. pipes. And as I started to work, a lot of thoughts popped through your head, like, I'm sure there's a good cup of coffee right now. Or that. Man, I wonder the Bears are going to win this season. <laughs> the one thought that popped through my head as I cranked down on that pipe one more time was, I did shut the water off. <laughs> and the answer to my question was, I was wrong. I started to take out water. And more water. And then I looked on the floor. It was like Niagara Falls. <laughs> my wife was right. I was going to flood the basement. I panicked. What am I going to do? What am I going to do here? You are a man on a mission. <laughs> what am I going to do? And I thought, <coughs> shut the water off. <laughs> I'm recalling those great words of wisdom passed down from generation to generation. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. I turned off that pipe and the water stopped. <coughs> At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I was exhausted. I needed a break. So I reached for my bag like most do your yourselfers who have a helper. I reached in. The Advil wasn't going to cut it this time. So I looked one more time. And this time I reached in for Plumber's Helper number two. So plumber's Helper number two and I went and took a little break. Now returning, feeling much better, I went and started to take the old pipes apart. And as I took them apart, I put the notes on. I felt like Keanu Reeves and the Matrix, it all seemed to come together. But I knew my biggest fear was coming, and that was turn the water back on in these pipes. Because who knows what's going to happen? So I bravely walked up to the valve. <laughs> and as I turned the valve, the water started to trickle. This nice, quiet flow. <sighs> Could it be? But then suddenly, drip, 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 drip. The pipe was starting to leak, so I grabbed my pipe ring. I started to tighten down on that pipe. And as that one was starting to stop, another one broke up, so I went to this one. I started to tighten this one. And then there was another one. The beast was striking back. Yes, it was. And as I looked, leaks to my left, drips to my right. And my wife would probably say the biggest drip was holding the wrench. <laughs> I just kept tightening and tightening. I became a deranged man. Back and forth, 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 back and forth
my family, but no one was there. So <laughs> he was more concerned about chewing on his bone than seeing me. But ladies and gentlemen, as a man on a mission, our accomplishments are our greatest success. So in closing, I hope that today my speech will inspire you to take on that dude yourself or John. You will get hurt. You will bleed. You will bruise. <laughs> but those are advantages of courage. Be proud of yourself. Grab your piper. Hold it up high. And say, I am that man. I am that woman. And I am on a mission. Have that shit. I realized that 
sometimes something comes into your life for certain reasons, and it was Toastmasters. Toastmasters was born to bring my dream. I learned, I read all of the literature on Toastmasters, and then I practiced in the dark, on the porch, walking my dog, and I guess spirit felt like I was ready because I got a call from a dear friend telling me that her mother had made her transition and she wanted me to speak at the funeral. Well, don't get me wrong now, she had told me earlier that her mother was sick, but I figured, you know, she was just talking with emotion and by the time that funeral came, she would have forgotten we ever had that conversation. <laughs> want to tell me, Maddie, I made the programs up, and you are the second speaker. <laughs> oh, wow. I dug into my repertoire of excuses. <laughs> that day, I went to the health club and came home in the middle of winter with flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> in my subconscious mind, I would have rather chance catching pneumonia than <laughs> make a speech in front of me. As Saturday came closer, and I was still in good health. I'm going to have to pull in the last resort. Juliet, I'm in this club called Toastmasters, and I have a very, very important speech to make, Sarah. Now, I can come to your program, but I'm not going to be able to stay the whole time because I have to make this speech.
John C. Braju, Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation, John C. Braju. Well, I mean, 
I can't translate everything. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't translated it. <laughs>
You won't have a contest. Finn. I thought for a moment, but then I realized the stars are lining up for me. <laughs> I thought, if nobody entered the contest, <laughs> and why? I'm the only contestant. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
semester, we have all the ballots. Uh, it's a, I'm 
I'm going to paraphrase Daniel Burnham, who has been enjoying any of the parks along the lakefront in Chicago. Uh, Daniel Burnham was given the responsibility of designing the parks. In fact, his open design still has never been realized. And I really love his it, it paraphrasing what he once said because it's so inspirational. It says, Make no small plans, for they do not excite the hearts of men. So always think big, push yourself, and that's where greatness comes from.
players tell me. The yellow flag um, means penalty. penalty the and the red flag means challenge. 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 Read challenge. out. Challenge. 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 Okay, so I'm going to throw the yellow flag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all ready? Yes. yes. So for our evaluation contest, there was one disqualification.
No, no, no. A team won't get it for. And our first place winner who will be representing the South Division at the district contest is Stephen. Snack.